Prior to the Holocaust, there was about 200,000 Gerer Hasidim living in Poland. The leader at the time, Rabbi Avram Mordechai Alter, was able to leave in 1940 with three of his sons, promised that a caravan would follow with the rest of his family. Unfortunately, this never happened. The rest of his family perished among with tens of thousands of Gerer Hasidim. Nevertheless, he tried to rebuild that community in Jerusalem. He was succeeded by his son, Rabbi Yisrael Alter, known as the Beis Yisrael. On one occasion, the Beis Yisrael was giving a talk at the synagogue. A former Ger Hasid, who had lost the majority of his family as well in the Holocaust and had since given up the life of a religious individual, taken on a secular identity here in Israel, was craving to see his old life and his old rabbis and decided to go to hear this rabbi speak. As was the case, Rabbi Yisrael Alter had a very keen memory and he would often survey the crowd to see if he recognized any faces and indeed he saw this man and even though he no longer looked like a chassid, he recognized him and he asked his attendant to bring him afterwards to speak with him. He told of his sad stories and they both exchanged their equally terrible tales and then began, began the base Israel by saying, you know, I, I can't really explain why these things happened, nor am I sure that I can really give you any comfort. Nevertheless, there is something that I have discovered that brought me some comfort, so I will share it with you. Who knows, maybe it will help in some small way. He says that the entire Torah, the five books of Moses, concludes with the words, and the awesome, wondrous things that Moses die, did in the eyes of all of Israel, Le'ne kol Yisrael. Rashi, he says, comments by finding a similarity in the words, Le'ne kol Yisrael, at a previous point when Moses saw that there was a sin of the golden calf occurring, he says that, I, and I took the tablets and I shattered it before all of your eyes, Le'ne kol Yisrael, all of the eyes of Israel. And he says, and we can understand it a little deeper if we find another place where these words are used. He says, in relation to Joseph, Joseph with his brothers, he accuses them of being spies, as we know, and he decides to take Shimon as a slave. And he says again, and I took him as my slave in, fr in, in front of your eyes. And the Midrash goes on to tell us, what does it mean in front of your eyes? It means that as soon as the brothers left, he stopped treating him as a slave. He actually treated him very nicely. He let him have all his needs met. It was simply part of the, the persona, the facade he had to put on his brothers to, in order to achieve a certain thing he was trying to achieve. So it was really an illusion. So said... So, Rabbi Yisrael Alter, we can find a connection here. Just like the tablets maybe were only destroyed is an illusion. Just like Shimon was only taken as a slave as an illusion. So too, he said, I like to think that all of those souls that were lost, it was just on one plane of being. They continue to exist on a different plane. It's just, in a sense, an illusion. And this has brought me comfort, and I hope it will bring you some comfort too, to know that they continue to exist on a different plane, and that the way that we see them lost is just, in a sense, an illusion.